group 1 members, we are Ryan De Leonio, Mar Luis Lopez, Eliza Marie Moral, Rico Ramirez, Carla Ricaport, Princess May Sunyo, and last but not the least, Mary Antoinette Villarin. And our topic is all about Asia. And we're going to discuss what is Asia is, the Southeast Asia, East Asia, and Southeast Asia. Of first group and for today's video we're gonna discuss and show you the Asia planet earth is home to 8 billion people and over 8.7 million species of animals and there is what we call the continental drift, a theory that explains the shifting of the continent which is most associated with the scientist Alfred Wegener. What is a continent? A continent is a large continuous mass of land conventionally regarded as a collective region usually separated by water or other natural features like mountains. There are seven continents in the world. The Asia, Australia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, and Europe. Did you know? Continent only cover 29% of the Earth and the rest of the Earth's surface is water. Now, let's proceed to Asia. Asia is the largest of the seven continents. It is home to nearly 60% of the world's population. Area of 44.4 million square kilometer, Asia occupies about one-third of the world's total land of area. Asia is a continent of diverse cultures and ancient civilizations. It is a land of economical, political, and social-cultural contrast. The geographical diversities present in the Asian landmass are truly remarkable. Political Divisions In Southeast Asia, we have Brunei, Cambodia, East Timor, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam. In East Asia, we have Japan, North Korea, South Korea, China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Macau, and Mongolia. In South Asia, we have India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, Sri Lanka, Maldives, and Afghanistan. Good day! I am Elisa Mirimural and I will be the one to introduce you the Southeast Asia. Southeast Asia is composed of 11 countries of impressive diversity in religion, culture, and history. The countries in Southeast Asia are Brunei, Myanmar, Cambodia, Timor-Leste, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam. Southeast Asia is located, just like it sounds, in the southeast portion of the continent of Asia. It is the south of China and to the east of India. Much of Southeast Asia is islands in the Indian Ocean, 
and the Pacific Ocean. Two major seas are the South China Sea and the Philippine Sea. Southeast Asia is rich in wildlife with animals such as orangutans, leopards, elephants, water buffalo, and rhinos. There is also significant diversity in culture, language, and religion. Much of Southeast Asia is rainforest and the climate is very wet. The wet weather makes the area prime for rice paddy agriculture making rice the main staple in the Southeast Asian diet. The climate in Southeast Asia is a tropical area that is hot year-round, with wet and dry seasons caused by shifts in wind or monsoons. It is predominantly rainforest, with the exception of high-altitude northern regions with milder temperatures. The most popular travel destinations are Thailand, Singapore, the Philippines, and Malaysia. It's easy to enter and do not require visas from American or European visitors, while Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, and Laos offer visas on arrival and are generally easy to enter. Only Vietnam and Myanmar require advanced paperwork. And the nations of Southeast Asia offer outstanding beaches every conceivable water sport, rainforest, wildlife, and flora. The northern area including temperate areas for mountain climbing and mountain biking, cultural and religious sites, tourists, and health and spa facilities also abound. Interesting facts about Southeast Asia. The region popularly known as Southeast Asia comprises mainly Asian coastal nations as well as several island nations mostly tropics that are hot all year round. There are also wet and dry seasons caused by changes in wind or monsoons. A few regions have mild temperatures, but most of Southeast Asia is predominantly rainforest. There are several interesting facts about many areas located within Southeast Asia. Did you know that the Angkor Wat is found in Cambodia? It is the largest religious temple in the world and it's estimated that it took some 30 years to build. Thailand is the only Southeast Asian nation that was not under colonial rule. They have some uncommon beliefs that are still practiced today. The Philippines has 12,000 species of seashells. The Conus Gloria Maris is the rarest and the most expensive seashell in the world that is found in the Philippines. As the largest archipelago in the world, Indonesia is comprised of more than 12,000 islands, out of which only about 6,000 are inhabited. There are more than 240 million Muslims in Southeast Asia, which translates the 40% of its population. Islam spread through Southeast Asia as a result of the expansion of trade, since Muslim traders brought Islam to the area. Good day! I am Marluis Lopez and here are some countries in Southeast Asia. The first one is Brunei. Brunei is an independent sultanate on the northwest coast of the island of Borneo in the South China Sea, wedged between the Malaysian states of Sabah and Sarawak. Today, Brunei is a small but very wealthy country due to oil and natural gas exports. Cambodia Located on the Indo-Chinese Peninsula, Cambodia is bordered by Thailand and Laos on the north and Vietnam on the east and south. The Gulf of Thailand is off the western coast. The size of Missouri, the country consists chiefly of a large alluvial plain ringed by mountains with the Mekong River to the east. The plain is centered around Lake Ton Lesap, which is a natural storage basin of the Mekong. Indonesia Indonesia is an archipelago in Southeast Asia consisting of 17,000 islands, 6,000 of them inhabited, and straddling the equator. 
Indonesia, part of the Ring of Fire, has the largest number of active volcanoes in the world, where earthquakes are frequent. Wallace's Line, a zoological demarcation between Asian and Australian flora and fauna, divides Indonesia. Laos, a landlocked nation in Southeast Asia occupying the northwest portion of the Indo-Chinese Peninsula. Laos, or Lao, is surrounded by China, Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, and Burma. It is twice the size of Pennsylvania. Laos is a mountainous country, especially in the north, where peaks rise above 9,000 feet or 2,800 meters. Malaysia Malaysia is on the Malay Peninsula in Southeast Asia. The nation also includes Sabah and Sarawak on the island of Borneo to the east. Its area slightly exceeds that of New Mexico. Myanmar Slightly smaller than Texas, Myanmar occupies the Thailand-Cambodia portion of the Indo-Chinese Peninsula. India lies to the northwest and China to the northeast. Bangladesh, Laos, and Thailand are also neighbors of Myanmar. The Philippines Philippine islands are an archipelago of over 7,000 islands lying about 500 miles or 805 kilometers off the southeast coast of Asia. The overall land area is comparable to that of Arizona. Only about 7% of the islands are larger than one square mile and only one-third have names. The islands are of volcanic origin with the larger ones crossed by mountain ranges. The highest peak is Mount Apo on Mindanao. Singapore The Republic of Singapore consists of the main island of Singapore off the southern tip of the Malay Peninsula between the South China Sea and the Indian Ocean and 58 nearby islands. Thailand Thailand occupies the western half of the Indo-Chinese Peninsula and the northern two-thirds of the Malay Peninsula in Southeast Asia. Its neighbors are Burma or Myanmar on the north and west, Laos on the north and northeast, Cambodia on the east, and Malaysia on the south. Thailand is about the size of France. Vietnam Vietnam occupies the eastern and southern part of the Indochinese Peninsula in Southeast Asia, with the South China Sea along its entire coast. China is to the north, and Laos and Cambodia are to the west. Long and narrow on the north-south axis, Vietnam is about twice the size of Arizona, and the Mekong River Delta lies in the south. Good day, my name is Carla Rica Park, and let's proceed to the East Asia. East Asia is composed of eight countries. These are China, Hong Kong, Japan, Macau, Mongolia, North Korea, South Korea, and Taiwan. One of the world cultural heart in China, continuous civilization over 4,000 years. World most populous room. Population concentration in the east, situated in river basins and special economic loom. East Asia is the most populous region in the world. China is the most populous country and the oldest continuous national culture. East Asia is the one of the core areas of the world economy and an emerging center of political power. East Asia Transitional Rim Taiwan is still regarded by mainland China as temporary wayward country. North Korea is not a full member of the United Nations and the division between North and South Korea may be temporary. East Asia is stretched from western China to the east Coast of Japan also include Mongolia, Taiwan, North Korea, South Korea. Landscape has high mountains, desert, cold climate, and Pacific waters. Rush terrain created by tectonic plates, colliding natural barriers, limit human movement, and increase isolation. 
Did you know the Himalaya Mountains are home to the tallest mountain in the world? All of the 8,000 years mountain over 8,000 meters tall, about 26 feet of 5 miles, can be found exclusively in the Himalayas. Such mountains include Mount Everest in K2. The Himalayas extend along the border of China and Nepal. When the Indian subcontinent Islam into Asia about 50 million years ago, the Himalayan mountains and the plateau of Tibet were created. The plateau of Tibet is a youth highland area that lies in the western China, north of the Himalaya mountains. Today everyone, I'm Princess Mei Sunyo. China China is the world's most populous country. China has been the dominant culture of East Asia since ancient times. It is the oldest continuous civilization, a settled society for over 4,000 years. Countries initiate aggressive family planning programs. China's government implements the one-child policy. The Great Wall of China The Great Wall of China is the only man-made object you can see from space. It has been expanded many times over the years and is currently over 5,500 miles long. Mongolia The Mongolian Empire breaks off in 1300s after being defeated by Russian and Chinese. China gains control of Mongolia in 1600s. Achieved independence in 1911, therefore, Mongolia has ruled and has been ruled by China. Mongolia becomes communist in 1924. Taiwan Asian people of China immigrate to the island of Taiwan. Even today, the population of Taiwan is almost exclusively Chinese. Taiwan sees many different rulers including China, Malaysia, Polynesians, and Japan. The Koreas Following World War II, the Korean Peninsula is divided into two separate countries. They make their border along the 38th parallel line. North Korea is a communist and controlled by the USSR. South Korea is a democracy and influenced by the U.S. Good day, I am Ryan De Leonio and I will continue to discuss the last part of our topic, which is South Asia. South Asia South Asia is composed of eight countries. These are Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Maldives, Nepal, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. South Asia is considered to be subcontinent. A subcontinent is a large landmass that is part of continent. India is the largest country and the second most populous country next to China. South Asia is the world's second most populous region. The population is growing, raising concern about food production, keeping pace. South Asia was British colony for several countries. Two of world's major religions founded there, Buddhism and Hinduism, high population growth and low standard of living, resulting this region to be one of the world's poorest. The subcontinent is divided into three main geographic regions, the Northern Mountain Rim, the Northern Plains, and the Deccan Plateau. Each region has distinct landforms and climates that determine how the people live. The Northern Mountain Rim, made up of several mountain ranges, the Himalayas and the Karakoram Range, separate the subcontinent from the rest of Asia. Good day, I am Rico Ramirez. India, 1.1 billion people in India, 15% uh, of world's population, diversity of religions and language, average population density is 7 times the world average, highest population density is 
highest population density is along the fertile plains of the Ganges River. Most population is rural. Recent years growing number moving to urban areas, strained to public resources and facilities. Many cities among the world's most densely populated. Cultural geography. Two major religions has had origin in region. Hinduism, way of life and religion belief in Dharma, Karma, the incarnation, goal of individual to end cycle of rebirth through good deeds. Lifestyle, a complicated mix of modern and traditional average. Literacy rate is yes, 65%. Recently, government has committed itself to education of lower classes. Uh, 18 official languages, which, which Hindi and English, the most widespread, uh, Pakistan and Bangladesh, share Muslim faith and rural exist existence. Pakistan has five different ethnic groups. Ethnic identity can be complex based on any city, religions, and, lang and language. Most people in Bangladesh are Bengali and Muslim. Bangladesh, most densely populated country in South Asia. Capital, Dhaka is the third most densely populated city in the world. Country has difficult feeding their population. Recently, the fertility rate has declined and population levels have dropped off. Government also provides loan to women to start small business to, to improve their lives and have small smaller families. Pakistan is the most urban urbanized country in South Asia. Growing cities have problems with populations and housing so shortage. Lar largest cities are Karachi and Islamabad, Nepal and Bhutan. There's country rebuild build ethnic and re religious difference in region. Both countries are very mountainous and rural Nepal is a complex mix of ethics group. Two main groups are Indo Nepalese from the south and Tibeto Nepalese who, who migrate from north. Most famous ethnic group are Sherpas who are known for their mountain climbing skills. People of Bhutan are Bhutan people that are related to Tibetan people. Tibetan people. Population density is both countries decreases as the elevation increases. Most dens densely populated area of Nepal is Kathmandu Valley. Nepal always remained free from colonial powers. Bhutan has always been influenced by Buddhism. Today is East Buddhist Kingdom. Bhutan and Nepal have low literacy rate and access to healthcare is low. Many people really on traditional medicine and the life expectancy is low.